a very warm good evening to all of you welcome to the 147th session of uh, centa's webinar series for teachers i hope all of you are keeping safe and uh, staying healthy the topic for today's webinar is types of art forms which can be used for maths classes and the facilitator for this session is dr ragini uh, dr ragini is a fine arts teacher at uh, sunbeam uh, lehtara since 18 years she is also a creative and innovative graphic designer and certified with many national and international uh, awards uh, a warm welcome to you ma'am uh, to this session uh, before i hand over the session i would like to inform all the teachers uh, that they will receive participation certificates for the session so please do fill out the feedback form that will be shared with you towards the end of the session uh, over to you ma'am uh, good evening and jai hind to everyone so i will be talking about teaching math through art integration it is easy to view art and maths as completely separate subjects in fact many of the core skills in art and math are closely related both disciplines require special reasoning skills and the ability to recognize the patterns artist and mathematicians use geometry in their work including shapes symmetry proportion and measurement for this reason among others many educators have changed their focus from stem stem is s t e m everyone must have heard about it it is science technology engineering and maths so each of the educators have now changed it to steam s t e a m agig and a for the art so now it is science technology engineering arts and maths sometimes kids see themselves as either an art person or a math person what does i mean to say is if you ask a child you are good in maths so the child if uh, he is a big grown up like of class 6 or 7 the child says i'm good in arts and if you will ask are you good in maths he'll say no i'm not good in maths i'm good only in arts or maybe if he is good in only in maths he does not have time to do arts even if he is creative so kids see themselves as an art person or a maths person as if they cannot be both now as a parent we can fall into the habit too viewing our own skills and talents are fixed and unchangeable so parents should never be fixed like we cannot change and we cannot do art if we are good in maths when we see kids help kids see the overlap between the art and the maths we not only strengthen their skills in each we expand their vision of what it means to be an artist and a mathematician so maths can be creative now my this session would be on how teachers can make maths creative or how parents with an easy way they can sort out problems with easy sketches to make math creative for their child if they are not interested in the middle school so art can be analytical both can inspire our imagination and once the kids start looking for shapes and patterns in art they will see themselves everywhere sometimes i go on the shape hunt in the picture books with my the preschooler kids and asking them to find a square circle or a triangle once we go around and see each and everything kept besides us nearby us we see that there is maths around us it's nothing like like maths is not there maths is there in everything each and every object we have even on our study table we have maths everywhere uh when we uh, purchase something from amazon or anywhere we have cartons we have geometrical shapes and thus maths is everywhere so here i'll start with a few of my activities which will help 
kids of all ages to have easy math practices this is maths in your name that is name geometry in this fun math activity kids will put their geometry skills to the test by measuring and classifying the lines and angles created by the letters of their own name now each student will write the letters of his or her name in large font on a piece of graph paper it's not necessary to have a graph paper it could also have been a simple plain paper because the geometrical shapes they need compass they need protector straight lines to write their name this would be quite interesting believe me when you will ask your kid to write your own name with geometrical shapes so first students will practice classifying the angles created by the letters in their name students will label the angle as acute angles obtuse angles or right angles if students have any right angles in their name they should denote each with a red little square to represent a right angle that is if there is a right angle we just don't mark it as an angle we put a red small square there after students have classified all the angles in their name as acute obtuse or right angle they will use a protector to measure all the angles they will label each angle with its corresponding measurement in degrees so finally students will get creative writing their own name and use their coloring supplies to make points lines line segments rays with the letters of their name using dots arrows students will draw and label at least one point line line segment and ray in their name so if you see this properly what are the things we learn we have learned so many types of angles and each child will have different types of angles in their names they will have different geometrical names different letters and they will be quite excited to write their own names so here goes another example which could have been more geometrical so once the teacher has to do this on a blackboard or whiteboard that how the circular or the oval shaped letters could be written in geometrical shapes so it could be hexagon it could be a uh, pentagon anyways then also the parallel lines if you see how uh, i have made n so there are parallel lines and then different types of angles uh, c e i have made square small squares for the 90 degrees in the e because it has 90 degree squares next one so once uh, students have done with their uh, names next project which we could have with them is line sketches this is again junior classes if uh, they they would be really very happy to make such sort of simple line sketches colorful with their sketch pens using geometrical shapes using protectors compass and different sort of angles so you can show these different shapes as every teacher can be uh, cannot be a very good artist so these are simple shapes simple sketches which teachers can uh, draw on the board for the help of the kids then students may copy it uh, with geometrical shapes using their scale so they will be asked to make the shape make the figure and then they will be asked to measure each and every angle and write it down 
so we could also add it to their emotions even so you can give them a phrase you can tell uh, a jumping boy this one could be a yoga page it could be a yoga page so there are there is a child who is having different poses of yoga and different students of the class could copy any one of them of their choice and then they could measure different angles once every child has made completed the drawings completed the sketches then you can discuss about types of angle so if you could see the figure in between it has 90 degree so that is a right angle triangle so then you can discuss what are right angle triangles what are acute angles corresponding angles that is different types of angles then also if there is a triangular formation the addition of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees if there is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle has opposite angles equal so that is a perfect and interesting way of teaching them how opposite angles are equal if it is an isosceles triangle similar is this one different poses again there are kids who are jumping sleeping hanging out and similar can be made amazing different types of angles here next one now these assignments it's like not necessary to have it in the class only you can give this as a homework uh, parents can do it at home this is weaving a perfect web so what is this you can ask the kid to make a web design and you can teach them how about interior angles and other types of angles also here this is a spider you can name the spider with the name of the child so maybe it is uh, arman so arman the spider has just finished her web and it is exactly how he likes it and he wants to have a drawing of his web so that he can weave this web over and over again now as the spider is arman so you can help arman to find the missing angles in his web drawing remember all the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees so how the kids will get interesting first of all every kid wants a special attention so when you will name the spider as his name he will be more interested to do the project and as you could see you can figure out you can write down few angles already on the page or else if the child is making a complete web he can make a complete web he has to measure all angles differently and then he can cross check by adding all the three angles whether it is 180 degrees uh this web could be more complicated as if uh depends on the class of the child whether the child is in class 3 4 or whether he is in class 6 so it could be more cluttered more complicated according to that next one this is maths robo 2 what is it as you could see it looks like a robot so how to make this robot more interesting it is based um approx on the same idea but instead of the numbers children roll for the shapes the rolls define what shapes the robot's head body eyes and limbs will be and this could also be done in a sort of game how 
because the game encourages children to practice recognizing and drawing a variety of shapes in a creative manner it will also work well for the preschool and kindergarten level math but older children can have a good time drawing robots as well so how we can differentiate a same project at different levels if it is a kindergarten then what we can do we can take small colorful pieces of paper of different shapes it could be square rectangle circle <coughs> semicircle triangle in fractions and we can ask the child of kindergarten to make a uh, this robot using those colorful shapes it could be a even a group activity for them which they'll feel quite interesting you can see this one uh, there are quite big hangings so these are simple ones which could be done by the kg kids but as we move further the same thing could be taught as a fraction so moving to the middle school you can ask the child to make a square first divide the square into half which will change it into a rectangle again subdivision of the rectangles and thus when you are teaching fractions in the class it will be quite easy for a teacher to teach the child about what is 1 upon 2 1 upon 4 1 upon 6 1 upon 8 and so on so quite easy and interesting thing for middle school for teaching fraction saving how could it be done more interesting even for home that is how to play a robot math now growing up books of maybe uh, classes 5 to 6 you can make a dice the dice will be having different shapes so if it is circle square rectangle oval pentagon semicircle anything and you could uh, make a group of four five kids sitting together a group activity one child will throw the dice and if the circle comes on top and then the teacher can announce uh, the group who is having circle on the top the face of the robot should be in a circle after students have completed the circle part again the group will throw the dice and suppose it comes a rectangle so then they can continue with this like the rectangle part could be a neck so maybe as a group activity the child could make a vertical rectangle or a horizontal rectangle that could be his her choice so this was how to play a robot math with different shapes next lots of coloring pages are available on the internet simple coloring pages so when a child of uh, class 1 maybe is taught about additions and subtractions so this is a wonderful way to make their classes more interesting such colorful pages can be distributed with few written numbers and there is an option given like 5 is equal to red 4 is equal to blue 3 is equal to green and 2 is equal to yellow that is if 9 minus 7 is equal to 2 the place the hand of the beer should be yellow so the child will first calculate each and every addition each and every subtraction and then he will start filling the colors to beautify the painting angles in maths again there are tables there are colorful pages around us 
so lots of uh, cello tapes are available in market colorful printed uh, tapes in the market you can use any of a big chart paper or maybe any of a big table of your home and you can just ask the child to put that cello tape straight horizontal vertical anyhow of their own choice and then measure those tables exactly with the angles also to increase their visualization power what teachers or what parents could do is you can ask the child to guess about the angles when i say guess about the angles it cannot be obvious uh, exact how much angle it is but yes once we see an angle we can guess whether it is 90 degree whether it is it is an acute angle whether it is obtuse angle so that is more than 90 degree less than 90 degree more than 180 degrees and so on so this guessing part is also quite good activity for kids when you are giving them a large space because kids are like working on small spaces on a sheet of paper or maybe a copy of a whole size so when they get a large space they feel excited to do something new which makes the class more interesting then angles in the alphabets ask the child to write any letter in geometrical shape of their names so if it is mayank so m of mayank with a thickness they can divide the page into as many divisions as they could they can color it with the pencil colors crayons and then ask them to measure any 10 angles of their own choice so this makes their activity more interesting and more learning next one maths in a street map so what is a street map every kid having their own location so this activity could be done as in a homework maybe as in a class work we can ask the kids to take full time think for 5 minutes the location of their home it could also be location of their school event doesn't matter so once they think about location of their home they should be very clear about how many roads obvious the parents or teachers could help them um, making the roads properly and then they could place out where is the school where are the hospitals nearby so a complete design about their neighborhood if we go uh, according to social science activities i think many of you are the teachers uh, if you are joining of social science you must be doing this activity already in your class about making your own neighborhood so that same could be changed into a maths activity even this could be done again with the use of a scale with the proper uh, geometrical shapes triangle rectangles everything and how the teachers could collaborate it to maths is how many parallel lines parallel lines could you see here so the place where it is uh, written horizontal way and parallel place so those are the parallel lines so if a line is intersecting so how many intersecting lines are there so which streaks are parallel there must be some uh, name of the streaks which they are making so lot of language development could also be inbuilt while you are in a maths class there are perpendicular streaks also if the two lines are crossing each other you can ask how many uh, vertical angles are produced here and how many perpendicular streaks are there on a diagonal one 
so this is a cluttered one for a senior class things are more detailed and with lot of partitions a uh, lot of fractions things are made lot of shapes are used lot of triangles hexagon so all the shapes are even used for the whole street art next one paul klee castles now who is this paul klee he is a renowned abstract artist paul klee who lived and breathed creativity he was a son of a german music teacher and a swiss singer he was an accomplished violinist in a symphony orchestra before he left a mark on the cubism surrealism and expressionism styles of art now what does it related to maths this paul klee castle and sun art project was inspired by his famous castle and sun painting so one of his paintings was very much famous whose name was castle and the sun we got inspired so much that this is introduced to the maths activity it's the perfect work of art for young artist to imitate as the idea of making a city out of basic lines and shapes and it is so easy to imitate paul klee was a swiss german artist who became one of the most famous painters of 20th century he along with picasso were the first one to contribute to the form of art that came to be known as abstraction so what is abstraction if you watch this page carefully how the activities could be done for a kindergarten lots of triangles are given and once you show them this picture for hardly 2 3 minutes and remove it the kids will easily make it so again how is it used just division of lot of things making a big square you can do it both ways you can do it uh, with pieces of colorful papers joining together to make a castle or else you can ask the kid using his castle of your own so that could be his dream castle even making lots of rectangles making lots of towers first so class 1 class kg 2 could be asked to make huge long towers and dividing it into parts and parts to make windows and doors making a sun at the top having a blue sky lot of language building again could be here in built the sky is blue because it is a morning the sky is dark because it's a night scene the windows peeping out are yellow because it is a night scene so we can have yellow windows with lightning inside uh moving to uh, a bit senior classes when they are dividing the rectangles into parts and parts you can teach them the fractions moving to the next one spirolaterals math art uh this is something uh, different maybe new for few of you what is spirolaterals very simple spirolaterals are spiralated as the name says something related to spiral a structure design based on a repeated series of the commands using length and angle so tell me we have done everything like angles 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 but now moving on to further what could be more the great thing about spirolateral is that not only they are georgius but in the process of making them kids who love numbers can work on their skip counting and multiplication skills so learning tables are very easy process when you are making spirolateral art creating a spirolateral math art also involves graphing and patterning 
so that there is a whole host of awesome math and art integration going on. I'll show you how to make these spirolateral art. You need a graph paper here, distributed to all the kids. Then you will choose a number and write its multiplication sequence. It is a 5 as an example. So this one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I have taken a table of 5. Now, once you have taken a table, we will add the digits of which is uh, more than 10. So 5 will remain as a 5. 1, 0, 10 will be added to 1. 1, 5 will be added to 6. Similarly, 2, 0 will be added to 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8 and so on. So what are the numbers we are getting here? 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 5, and 1. OK, we'll do one of the uh, these sheets so that it will be easy for you to do it. I've taken table 2. You can see uh, the left part where I've written a table as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. Then what I've done is I've added the digits together. That is 2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And after then, it will be repeated. So starting with the 2. So I'll move this as two, two, uh, two blocks of graph paper in a straight line, turning it to the 90 degree, remember. So then uh, the next number is four. I'll move it forward to four, then six, eight, One, three, five, seven. Nine, and then <clears throat> it will be repeated same two, four, six, eight, one, three. Five, seven, nine, two. Every time you uh, use your number, it should be ninety degree turn. So two, four, six. Eight, one, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight. 
थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन एंड सी हाउ नाइसली दे आर ऑल ज्वाइन टूगेदर टू मेक अ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ शेप सो देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स यू कैन हैव अ डिस्कशन हाउ मेनी रेक्टेंगल्स यू कुड सी हाउ मेनी नाइंटी डिग्री एंगल्स यू कुड सी एंड दिस इज अ वंडरफुल वे ऑफ राइटिंग एंड मेमोराइजिंग टेबल्स प्रैक्टिसिंग टेबल्स दिस कुड बी डन विद अनलिमिटेड टेबल लेंथ so it's not only with the table of 2 table of 5 it could be any number of table and you can move it forward to different designs once you will take different sequence of all the tables the output coming back to you will be different sort of designs and they can then lastly uh, color it of their own choice so if this is for the maths when an art teacher chips in inside they could also make it further process that you can fill up a primary color how to make secondary colors when you are mixing two primary colors so the place which is overlapping could be a secondary color even right so moving on maths through a graphic design now what is a graphic design anything which when you make with the help of geometrical shapes is a graphic design so when you are using straight lines circles squares and making an overlapping design that is a graphic design so again another art project which is quite interesting you can give a project to the child make a square of maybe 8 by 8 inches and you have to use three circles of different uh, sizes then uh, how many squares to be made you have to uh, make two straight lines dividing the bigger square into two three parts so such type of projects can be given to kids to make their own graphic design and then afterwards they can fill colors accordingly maths is used all the time in the graphic design so things such as measurement alignment proportions and ratios are things that are mathematical concepts often used by graphic designers even to make their designs well balanced and attractive the last discussions what could be how many acute triangles could you see how many right triangles could you see in your picture so every child will have their own designs which will have different numbers of right triangles different numbers of acute triangles then how many equilateral triangles are there how many dots you are using to make circles 3 4 how many so this was graphic design mondrian fractions this is again an art activity which could be done in kindergarten and even in the middle class ways to do it mondrian fractions it is named under a dutch painter whose name was peek mondrian he was an important leader in the development of the modern abstract art students students will generate equivalent fraction models and use visual fraction models to explain equivalent fractions with attention to how the number of size of the parts differ even through the two fractions are of the same size so a kg child could be asked to make lot of horizontal and vertical lines dividing rectangles on a sheet of paper not necessary even to have a scale in their hand they could do it uh, fluently and filling lots of colors could be done in a 
uh, group activity also on a big sheet of chart paper. So this is quite uh, interesting for KJ gigs. Then moving for the fractional part. So seniors could make similarly with lots of fraction activities. And this is the Mondrian fractions. Christmas tree angles. So this could be done when any of the festivals are coming up. Related to festivals, a drawing can be given, outline can be given to kids to uh, mark with different angles and they could be asked to measure the angles and give it back to the teacher. Or they can make their own Christmas tree even, measure the angles and send it back. So simple and interesting ways to keep uh, to keep their kids engaged in lots of activities during the class. This is Kandinsky math. Kandinsky math. So Kandinsky was a Russian artist. His full name was Vasily Kandinsky. He was a pioneer abstract painting in the early 20th century. And he believed that geometrical forms, lines, and colors could express the inner life of the artist, a theory quite evident in his own explosive paintings, which were often inspired, represented by the industry leading galleries. So things which could be learned here is array, that is two rows of three. That is two into three is equal to six. So teaching them about tables and arrays here. Again, fractions, dividing, dividing the paper. You have to create a grid, making the grid half of the squares, which are black. One fourth, sixth are the red and one third are the gray. That is how to connect to perfect fractional part. Also, area and perimeter. How can you sort out area and perimeter? So, how many uh, blocks are there? Ratio 2 is 2, 3. The height is 3. The length is, and the height is 2. The length is 3. Different circles. Why it is named as Kandinsky math? Kandinsky believed that Everything starts with a point. Everything starts with a circle. So he used to make lots of paintings in circles. And when a child is asked to uh, pick up a crayon in kgs, the first thing he makes is a circle. He loves to make circles of different colors. So it could be not only red, black and gray, which I'm showing you. It could be any sort of colors which could be given to the child to make lots of circle circles and this can also be help in making a sort of bunch of tree even then further it could be taken by maths classes maths teachers how many circles are there what is the ratio of a smaller circle and what is the ratio between bigger circles how many small circles are there how many big circles are there and so on similarly uh, counting and fractions of uh, number of circles of a particular color. How many red circles are there? What is the ratio between red circles and maybe a yellow circles? So such activities can be grown forward of your own choice from a math teacher to make the classes interesting, colorful and creative. This is Kandinsky. So this is the geometrical art of Kandinsky. His art himself, as I told you, he was a Russian artist. So how he used to make his own paintings is with the help of arc, straight lines, lots of circles, lots of uh, geometrical figures and coloring it in their own ways. So giving as a project work, his any of the particular painting could also be given to students to measure angles and also to make their own 
paintings of their own. So once we uh, even teach in class 11th level about abstract art, we keep Kandinsky in mind to teaching them the easiest way to make any of the art forms. Uh, when we are talking about so many great artists here relating to maths, so how can we forget the last one that is Picasso? Picasso was a Spanish painter and his uh, Picasso is a name, his full name was Pablo Picasso. It's a name that's synonymous with both art and revolutionary genius. He was an artist who broke boundaries so dramatically that other artists could only pick up whatever pieces he left on the ground to learn and understand his balance. This is here another way to teach kids how a page can be divided into different shapes, different art forms to make their own images to make their own portrait. So it will be a great fun in the class if you will ask a child to make their own portraits with the help of these geometrical shapes with so colorful and vibrant colors filled inside it. Again, this can be uh, further moved to different types of arts also, different types of colors also, primary colors, secondary colors and so on different angles, different language building, how many arc are used, how many squares are there, how many uh, colors are used, what type of color tone is used. Maybe there is a child who has used only yellow, orange and red color. So you can even talk to the child about telling him this is a variety of warm colors. So lot of questions could also be there. Picasso art has no rules actually. So it is the easiest form which could be used by the kids to have eyes and nose not at a proper place because there are no rules. The eyes could be tilted, the nose could be in any of the abstract forms, anything. Uh, so here I'll end with my slides. Uh, anyone who has uh, any of the queries related to this maths art? Uh, ma'am, there are few. Uh, am I audible to you, ma'am? Uh, yes, Harsha. Yeah, uh, there are few queries uh, which have been yes. posted by few teachers, ma'am. I'll just uh, read out the uh, queries so that you can mm -hmm. answer these queries. Uh, Shafali, ma'am, asks, uh, can you kindly uh, show some art activity uh, for mm -hmm. addition and subtraction for grade 3? Addition and subtraction, I showed you this one. For grade 3, this was the best one. You can take any of the coloring pages from internet and you can manually put down few figures of your own choice for the addition and subtraction. And you can ask the child to color those pages according to the numbers which are coming out. So if 13 plus 1 is 14, it is written gray. So the place which has 14 has to be filled with a gray color. So automatically, once the child finishes with the whole picture, the fish will come out all in a gray color because all the additions come out in the number 14. And the background could be in a shades of blue, could be light blue, dark blue. So different waves could be there. This uh, worksheet is quite uh, helpful and interesting for kids for the addition and subtraction, ma'am. Uh, thank you for the uh, reply, ma'am. Uh, one more uh, query from one of the teachers. Any ideas for primary classes? That, that is from primary. first grade to uh, any ideas or any activities for uh, primary classes? That is from first grade to fourth grade or fifth grade. Primary classes, these were the activities which were quite good. Simple giving them the pieces of colorful papers with different shapes. And as I've shown you, the Paul Klee castles. So it is not only castles. You can uh, make anything with them. So it could be uh, castles for them. It could be a robot for them. 
it could be any different shapes you can ask them to make a book you can ask them to make a scenery with those shapes so any of the designs with lot of shapes which are already given to them so not necessary they will make with a geometrical shape give them geometrical shapes already pre cut uh, sheets and then they can continue with that uh, thank you for the uh, answer ma'am uh, another uh, teacher asks for uh, can you please uh, share some outdoor activities uh, deepti ma'am and sangeeta ma'am and few other teachers are there who want to know about outdoor activities outdoor activities yeah for any any uh, classes maybe primary higher primary or uh, high uh, school yeah okay outdoor activities uh, i am not able to show you right now but i can suggest you when you will go through i said the maths is already around us so when you are going for an outdoor activity it is i'll stop sharing my screen here huh. when you are going for outdoor activities it is like uh, you see a door you see a window in your room which is everywhere in a school or at a home so you can discuss how many rectangles you see there how many rectangles how many fractions so if there are windows of same shapes so there is a big rectangle if it is a big window if it has slices of 5 to 8 divisions how many fractions are there so suppose if i have a window uh, with eight subdivisions so that is a fraction of 1 upon 8 so maths is all around us there is a door there is a window curtain book anything even the best way is when we open a door when we open a door open it very slightly and ask the child to open it at a, at a degree of 30 degree suppose open it at a degree of 90 degree so these are all outdoor activities which can be done then as i told you when you are purchasing lot of amazon packages are everywhere in uh, every home nowadays take a carton ask the child where are the angles you see there is 90 degree let him think this is a common question ki how many 90 degrees are there obvious everywhere there is a 90 degree in a carton but let him think you can make a division again the cello tape activity which uh, i told you that could be done right uh, yes ma'am thank you for the answer ma'am uh, one more one more uh, one more question from purnima ma'am uh, first series is table for the number what is for second series first series is a table of numbers you can yeah. make the yeah. tables more uh, complicated you can make the tables more complicated so as i was making the table of class 2 uh, table of 2 or table of 5 you can push it up to table of 11 13 17 so it depends which grade you are doing that activity if you are doing it for a grade class 6 that will be uh, will be more helpful if you use a table of uh, 13 17 but then only you need is a bigger graph paper nothing else and lot of different designs uh, will be coming up there uh, ma'am uh, i think uh, I, one more question ma'am uh, please uh, uh, tell uh, tell about uh, equation there is one of the teachers is asking ma'am uh, varsha ma'am is asking hmm uh, equations we need to uh, rebuild some more activities it is not in any of these slides but yes it could be done for any other session next coming up yes ma'am uh, i think uh, those were the questions from different teachers uh, thank you uh, ragini ma'am for a very engaging and informative session for our community of teachers i am sure that our teachers uh, have uh, okay thank you harsha i have got yeah i have got a lot of takeaways from this session now uh, thank you so much all the participants for engaging with us today uh to register for more such upcoming webinars uh, please visit my center and uh, i would like to remind all the participants that please do fill out the uh, feedback form uh, link which is uh, 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 sent out to you on the comment section for uh, receiving the certificate from center thank you once again thank you ma'am